And with just two weeks left in the 2019 session, key lawmakers sometimes find creative ways to revive favored bills or ideas that appeared to be dead. But today, a handful of state senators and citizens objected to this process and shined a light on it. Our chief political reporter Mike Dennison fills us in. Late Friday, a House committee killed an extensive proposal from Attorney General Tim Fox to toughen Montana's drunk driving laws. But by Saturday morning, an 81-page amendment had been prepared, including most of the DUI bill, to be jammed into a completely different bill, which was sitting in the Senate Finance and Claims Committee. But that's not all. The amendment also included contents of two other bills meant to address an epidemic of missing Native American women, the so-called Hannah's Act, and one other. The idea was to make this new, huge hybrid bill must-pass legislation so it couldn't be voted down. Democratic members of the Senate panel objected. Even though I want to, I need to vote for Hannah's Act, I cannot do it with this DUI section in it. This is the democratic process that we're all elected and sworn to uphold, and now we're jamming a bill in there that's based in leveraging the lives of, of Native American women. It's, it's, it's disgraceful. It's, it's an abuse of our power. It's abuse of the system. That brought a response from the panel's Republican chair, Senator Ryan Osmondson of Buffalo. So if you'd like to bring an amendment, if you'd like to bring a bill, you're welcome to do so. That's how the system works. So, and then we vote and it either pass, passes or it fails. I have good ideas at times, I have bad ideas at times. Senator Jacobson, you have good ideas at times and you have bad ideas at times, and we vote on those ideas. Democrats on the panel moved to separate out the language on Hannah's act from the amendment, but Republicans voted that down. But after consulting further, Republicans relented and allowed that language to be removed. Yet a majority of the panel still amended the DUI language into the bill, passed it, and then consented to listen to public comment. John McDonald, a lobbyist for Montana newspapers, said the panel had violated Montana's constitutional right to public participation by not holding a scheduled hearing before the vote. Veteran lawyer and lobbyist John Metropolis had even harsher words. If this process is allowed to stand, I am here to bury the Montana Constitution, not praise it. If it allows this, because this is shameful, makes a mockery of the system, of your efforts, of my efforts, whose plaything is the legislature's? Whose plaything are we? Do we really have a say? Most of that 81-page amendment was stuffed into this formerly one-page bill, known as a companion bill with a broad title for just this purpose in the waning days of the session. Several more of these companion bills remain in play. How might they be used? We don't know yet. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. And the session is scheduled to wrap up on May 1st.